Hi Aries, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. And this is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of September 2016. This is a general energy surrounding Aries. Uh, your moon and your rising sign will also be relevant, so make sure you check out those videos as well. And if you need a personalized reading, you can check out the link to my website below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Aries, this first card is going to represent your desires, your objectives, what is truly important for you in the month of September. The second card is going to represent what you are valuing and identifying with who you truly are in the month of September. The third card is going to represent a possible distraction, illusion, or doubt in the month of September. The fourth card is going to represent the path to fulfillment. And the fifth card is about the right attitude for you to have with yourself and others. The last card is going to represent the outcome or the response to the dominant thoughts and energies for the month. Okay, Aries, so your current objective, your desires, what you're kind of dealing with in the month of September, we actually have the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. So the Queen of Swords, as you can just tell, there's two females here pulling on the rope, you know, tugging against one another. And they're in the heat of the day. This is a sword. So this is about thoughts, communication, intellect. So what I'm getting here, Aries, is I feel a sense of competition for you in the month of September. I feel that some of you have kind of met your match or uh, you've met someone that, you know, has kind of brought out your more feisty side, your more competitive side. This could be an air sign, so a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it could just be someone that kind of matches you that is kind of giving you a run for your money. And I feel that in the month of September, you're, you're feisty, you're determined, you're ready to, to go. This is also about a rival. So this could be someone that is opposing you, um, is challenging you, is very intelligent based on the sword. They are smart, uh, they are cunning, and they're sharp. And so I feel that you are going to kind of be kept on your toes. This is a person that is a formidable foe, someone that, you know, is really, you've got to be careful. You have to be careful with what you say. You have to be careful with um, your thought processes because this is a person that is, is very honest, is very communicative. They speak their mind and they could be critical of you. They could be intolerant. Uh, so it's about you being smart this month, Aries. It's about you, you know, knowing what you're up against and, and not necessarily arguing, but really using your intellect, like having to art outsmart so, someone or something the, I mean, it could be a person or it could just be a challenge that you're going through. But honestly, Aries, you're up for the challenge. Um, I feel that in some ways, Aries, you actually need a challenge. You know, if you're not being forced to grow, if someone's not pushing you um, outside of your comfort zone, you're going to get bored. So this could be a relationship. This could be a business endeavor. This could just be your own goals that you're going, you know, that you're pushing towards. And I do feel that you're ready for this, Aries. You're ready to, to compete. You're ready to show your stuff. You're not going to back down. You're going to, you know, use your intellect and use your brute force and use your courage and your bravery. But this is someone that I set, like I said, it's a queen. It's a queen of swords. And so this is someone that actually is a valid oppo opponent for you in some way, shape or form. But don't be afraid of this Aries because you know, this is how we grow. This is how we test our strength. This is how we learn. This is how we expand our horizons. So month of September, you might feel a challenge here, but you're ready to go. You're ready to face this challenge and to be brave and courageous. 
and that really alludes to what you're currently valuing what you're currently identifying with who you truly feel you are in the month of september we have the nine of pentacles and this this is all about a conquest so here we go aries and that's that's really the arian spirit like i said if you're not challenged if you're not fighting a battle um, you know, you might have to rest at some point, but this is how you view yourself. This is you at the top. This is you being the best that you can be. This is you conquering um, everything that is set out before you. It's about you overcoming your obstacles. You have dreams and goals that you are, you know, you're a dreamer. You have these visions. And this is about you visualizing yourself, seeing everything coming true, seeing you overcome. I mean, you can see there's a financial, this is money. This is finances, so it could be directly linked to, to money this month. And it's also about, you know, your you dream big, Aries, and this is about you overcoming the obstacles. And with that, you are going to be rewarded financially. With that, you're going to have the capacity to inspire and to lead others. People are going to respect you. You are going to be able to influence others in positive ways and your efforts have paid off. Hard work is finally rewarded. This is a very independent energy, so I do feel this is how you view yourself. You are very independent. You can see there's nobody else around. This person's on the top of the mountain, you know, at the top, they've climbed the ladder. They, you know, they've raised their hand up high because they have been victorious. And what's beautiful about you, Aries, is that some people may say that's selfish. But what's cool is you have been given a huge heart. You have a huge heart. Yes, you want to be the best. Yes, you want to kind of overcome all. But in your leadership, you want to protect and help and love those that you care about. And so that's what's beautiful about you. Um, this is about you doing a great job and mastering yourself. You have um, had an outward conquest. So I feel that whoever this rival is or whatever, and this, like I said, this rival could be a person. It could just be a, a thing. It could be a challenge. It could be an obstacle. It could be a job, an interview. Um, it could be a goal, you know, it could be a physical goal that you have. The point is Aries is that you're all about mastery. You are determined. Nothing's going to get in your way. And there's a strong sense of optimism. I can do it. I believe in myself. And so that's beautiful, Aries. That's where you want to be at, you know. Don't let anyone say that you're selfish because this is the gift that God has given you. This is your sign. This is your energy. This is what you're supposed to do. But I do feel with such a high calling, you are meant to help others. You are meant to lead others, to be inspirational and to be brave and to be the leader. And as you get that, you know, being a blessing to others is what, you know, is also the proper response. So this is what you're identifying with. This is what you're valuing in the month of September. And this is where your focus is. Okay. Now the false desires or the distraction or the illusion or something that could cause doubt for you in the month of September, we have the six of wands or rods, fire energy. Now, what this card represents is this is actually about reaping the reward. As you can see, he has his sickle out. He's cutting down his hay. He's bringing in his reward. And this is about, this is about success, Aries. So whatever goals you're venturing on, there, it's like success is assured. And I feel that you know that in whatever area that you're trying to conquer. However, the challenge here is that the, the, the reward can occur when you least expect it. So there is a sense of not knowing the answer to all things, not knowing the timing. There is a part of you that is going to have to trust the outcome to know. And we know with any type of fire sign, there's a chat, there's a temptation to feel impatient and to want it now or want it when you want it. Or, you know, we, as humans, we think that we know when something should happen like, okay, God, this is when everything should line up and this is when it should all manifest. No, there's, there's a challenge here to know that, you know, you have victory Aries, but you have to trust the outcome and the timing and the process and the way that it's meant to manifest and to know that it's going to be perfect. Maybe it's not how you would have envisioned it, but it's going to be just right. Divine timing, divine right order. And just know that you're going to get that prize. You do the work you, you know, do your own spiritual growth, healing, prayer, visualization. You take all those right actions. You're assured victory. There's no doubt about that. 
but it's about trusting the divine timing of the universe. And that's where, you know, that's where I think God keeps us humble because we realize that we don't have all the answers. I mean, my belief is we're not God. Uh, we have to trust God and trust his timing as well. It's not all up to us. A lot of things are up to us, but everything is not completely up to us about Aries a need to look at some details and this could be the other challenge in the month of September where your plan is you're doing pretty good job with what you're doing Aries you're definitely getting victory you definitely are feeling optimistic you're feeling strong confident you have belief in yourself but there is a need here when you have the six of rods or wands to evaluate and to kind of look at the fine details of anything your project or what your you know your plan and to be open to tweaking it if necessary and that can be a challenge for fire signs that are very broad-minded um, kind of seeing the details of the situation in fact aries doesn't really want to deal with the details they want to move on to the next project or the next big thing so the challenge here is is to say okay if something's not working i'm really going to take the time to look at the details and tweak if necessary there's also the challenge could be here is that you know you you could still wonder is my hard work going to pay off i feel like i've been working on this for so long i've been doing all the work is it ever going to pay off and this is the universe saying yes it will it may not be when you think it will it may not be the way you think it's going to pay off um, it could also be when you're not expecting it even when you're not looking but this is the universe is saying just to trust trust the process um, I also feel like if you're doubting if other people are going to acknowledge because you know for Aries it's important to be respected to be admired not necessarily even admired but I would say more respected as a leader as a pioneer as someone that is the best at what they do and this is saying that you might be doubting that like are people going to recognize this um, because you have been fighting battles and the answer is yes so this is just about you know your success has been well deserved aries for those of you that have really been fighting and working hard and you know doing what it takes to attain your goals and just trusting that the timing and that if something's not working being willing to tweak it okay so very interesting the strategy how for how you are to get to your goals we have the eight of swords another air sign so I, I strongly feel you are dealing with an air sign um, in relation to what you're trying to attract in your goals and dreams this month so a sword here another Aquarius Gemini or Libra or someone if this is not an air sign it could be someone that has a very sharp intellect someone that is very good with their words that can literally cut someone to shreds with their words so you might be dealing with that personality so as far as the strategy the plans to be made that's going to help lead to your fulfillment this is really about a crisis okay this is about something coming to a head and i do get that strongly with this rival card so something that you've been battling aries something that you have been struggling against fighting it's taken a lot of your energy your mental your physical emotional even spiritual strength whatever this issue is it needs to come to a head for you in the month of september uh, this is about having a critical moment where all of this energy and momentum is going to come to a head and this could result in having a very serious discussion having a you know really having to maybe take a long hard deep look at what you've been doing thus far and it could be positive it could be negative the with the sword here we're talking about the truth you really have to come to grips with and be honest with how things have been going thus far if something needs to be tweaked you just have to be honest with it it's not you don't have to take it personally but it's about really this is about you also kind of taking a review and taking stock of what you have done thus far the people in your life your commitments your thought processes your decisions are they all in line is everything in check is there something that needs to change and the reason for this i feel that the universe is asking you to do this is that you or someone or some situation this is a card kind of of fear and of being afraid to kind of confront the situation um you know not wanting to be honest with the situation or real and so the, this has to happen because the fear or the issue that's being ignored is what is preventing you from moving forward 
and maybe your confidence has taken a knock and maybe that's why you don't want to face this or deal with this but the universe is encouraging you that even if it's painful even if it's going to bring up some issues that you don't want to discuss or talk about or you know you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or whatever the issue is it's necessary um whatever this serious conversation that has to happen it's it's not permanent it's not like these uncomfortable feelings are going to be this way forever but it needs to be discussed it needs to be brought to the surface in order to move forward with your goals and dreams so i do feel that i mean you can see this person is like drenched in rain and drenched in like tears and it's uncomfortable this is not a comfortable emotion or a comfortable conversation that you have to have but it's absolutely necessary you know, the encouragement here is just don't give in to these feelings of feeling like you're going to be stuck in this situation if you talk about it or deal with it or face it like it's going to be forever. This is about acknowledging what you need to acknowledge because it's going to give you clarity. This rain is going to wash away any illusions or lies or pride or fear or doubt or, you know, if you're not doing something that you should it's going to bring you clarity so that you know what to do you're going to gain answers so these answers are going to become available to you and then you can make any adjustments necessary to get back on track so there is a sense of needing a a cleanse here aries <clears throat> of needing to bring it to the surface so that it can be faced dealt with washed away and that you can move forward back on track Okay, how to relate to yourself and to others. So if you do have to have this discussion, if you do have to you know, have a conversation, or if this is even just how to deal with your, yourself, how should you face yourself in the month of September? We have the emperor, which is a fire sign. This is the sign of Aries. So the emperor, this is all about inner maturity and it's about you aries relying on your inner strength of who you are god's power through you versus looking for outside validation easier said than done right i mean as human beings we all want to be acknowledged we all want to have some validation which i think is okay but i feel that the the message here is is have that first within yourself have that first like know who you are know who you are that you are loved that god loves you that you're strong in god and that you can be who you are that if people validate you great but if they don't you're okay you don't need that in order to be who you are it's nice to have but you know what you're going to be strong in yourself whether people like it or not this is who you are this is your truth and as you can see it's a very strong masculine figure he's sitting on a block um he is not moving he is not going to move from his convictions. This is also about you standing steadfast in your values, in your beliefs, in your convictions. You know, if you've been compromising or if you've watered down yourself to please someone else, it, that's not your calling, Aries. Your calling is to be the leader. Your calling is to be courageous, to be brave, to stay true, to stand strong, um, to go against the grain, to, to maybe take the road less traveled that's your calling and this is a very strong fire energy but what's beautiful about this is it's balanced with a rational thought process and i feel that this month is going to be very necessary for you to keep your rational mind strong and clear you don't want to let your emotions and your fieriness to take a hold of you now granted you still want to be in your fire but you also want to keep your rational mind you want to stay balanced so that one doesn't overtake the other this is also the number four. And so this is about you being the stable one, you using your logic and your reason. Uh, you're not going to let anyone move you off of your goals and your dreams. You're going to be strong. It's also about, you know, having your inner authority and being, being calm, making decisions based on facts. You're in a very powerful position to achieve your goals right now, Aries. And this is about you taking the lead, t being the guide regardless if you get in uh, outer validation or not the inner validation has to come from within first and then the universe will probably give you that validation but it's not dependent upon that validation okay so as far as the outcome based on these energies for the month of september for the outcome we have the hierophant 
And this is a number five. This is about the universe asking you to be coherent. I mean, this, this is a powerful month for you, Aries. This is all about you. You're, you're in your essence. A lot of you are really making headway. Your power is strong. Your inner fire, your enthusiasm, your confidence is strong. Yes, you'll be challenged and tested this month, but overall you're definitely moving mountains this month. Um, the Hierophant is about you truly checking yourself. Once again, being honest with ourselves. And I can just say, it's tough to do that sometimes. It's so much easier to blame someone else or say like, I'm, I'm this way because I've always done it this way, or this is how we do it in my family. Or I'm, I'm like this because of what's happened to me or my childhood. And granted, you know, those things can, you know, they do have to be acknowledged. However, at the end of the day, we have to take 100% responsibility for what we do, how we react to things. So this is saying, okay, Aries, is there, are you being a hundred percent honest with yourself? Are your actions, your decisions, your thoughts, are they coherent with what you say you truly want? A lot of times we say we want something, but our actions prove different. This is asking you to look at it, at, look at everything in a very realistic way and see how committed are you to your goals? How committed are you to your dreams? Are you a hundred percent committed? Is there any duplicity? Is there any uh, inconsistency? Because if there is, you're gonna get inconsistent results. Whatever we're radiating out there, we're going to attract. So, you know, we can be like, why is this not happening? Well, the universe is saying, look at your intentions. Are they 100% committed to your goals and dreams? So this, the universe is saying, Aries, we know that you want things done yesterday. So this is going to help speed up your process. This is going to help speed up your goals and dreams is if you weed out any of those inconsistencies, you're going to help the things that you truly want to come to you that much quicker. Inconsistencies are only going to keep you stuck, are going to slow the process. And this also says, Aries, that you are a spiritual person, that you know you, you can't just do things based on what people want you to do. You are a spiritual soul. You are someone that you, has intuition, has a connection to God, and that this is important for you. You cannot um, diminish this. You have to acknowledge that this is part of who you are, your connection to God. This is about you realizing that you have a, you need a deeper meaning to the reason why you're doing things. You can't just do it just because, you know, pride and ego. Yes, those things are important, but this is also about saying, you know what, I'm doing this because God loves me and I want to be a light in this world. I want to show other people God's light. Okay. So this is about you connecting the spiritual to the reason why you're doing what you're doing. So very powerful month for you in the month of September, Aries. You're on an amazing path, an amazing track. I really hope this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That's gonna make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Aries, you're awesome. I appreciate you and have a great rest of your day.